हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू कवर द नॉन स्ट्रॉइडल एंटी इन्फ्लेमेटरी ड्रग्स और एनसेट्स बट बिफोर डू दैट लेट्स डिस्कस वॉट इज इन्फ्लेमेशन और इन्फ्लेमेटरी रेस्पॉन्स दिस इन्फ्लेमेशन इज अ बॉडीज प्रोटेक्टिव रेस्पॉन्स टू टिश्यूज इंजरी वेन अवर बॉडी गेट्स इंजर्ड अवर बॉडीज डब्ल्यू बी सीज प्रोटेक्ट अस फ्रॉम इन्फेक्शन फ्रॉम आउटसाइड इन्वेडर्स लाइक bacteria and viruses when we get some injury some tissue injury then phospholipase a2 enzyme is released which then convert into arachidonic acid Now this arachidonic acid is a substrate for two major enzymes, five lipoxygenase, which is five LOX, and cyclooxygenase, COX enzymes. The cyclooxygenase enzymes are a group of enzymes which are present in different forms, two of which are COX one. cyclooxygenase 1 and cox 2 cyclooxygenase 2 enzymes e cyclooxygenase enzyme cox 1 and cox 2 are responsible for the production of prostaglandins and this prostaglandin is responsible for the inflammation in tissues these are the pain mediators these are also called the pain mediators this cox1 enzyme make prostaglandins with housekeeping functions like they regulate the mucosal lining of the gut regulate the clotting function of blood so this is the cox1 enzyme which perform the housekeeping functions they maintain the gut lining and they also regulate the clotting function of blood while cox2 enzyme makes select prostaglandins only which means the cox2 enzyme produces or release prostaglandins only when needed the prostaglandins which are released from the cox2 enzymes intensify the symptoms of inflammation so whenever we get some tissue injury then what happened that particular injured tissue release phospholipase a2 enzyme within the tissue this phospholipase a2 enzyme will convert into arachidonic acid now this arachidonic acid is a substrate for two major enzymes 5 lox and cox enzymes 5 lipoxygenase and cyclooxygenase again this cyclooxygenase are available in different forms but here we discuss only two forms of cyclooxygenase enzyme which is cox1 and cox2 cyclooxygenase 1 and cyclooxygenase 2 enzyme in short when we get injured all these mechanism will occur and prostaglandins are released and uh, we feel more pain then we need some pain killers this ansets non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs are the pain killers they perform their function by inhibiting these cox enzymes as they inhibit these cox enzyme then automatically arachidonic acid will not form prostaglandin which are the pain mediators so we have to take some pain killers in order to relieve their pain so these 
drugs are actually the painkillers. Let's discuss the mechanism of NSAIDs. These NSAIDs inhibit the production of these COX enzyme, cyclooxygenase enzyme. So when they inhibit the COX enzyme, there will be no conversion of arachidonic acid into prostaglandin occur. All the eight types of non-steroidal drug perform three major functions. They are antipyretic means they reduces fever. They are anti-inflammatory which means they reduces inflammation and they are analgesics which means they reduces pain. This is all about the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug NSAIDs, their mechanism of action about the cyclooxygenase enzyme. I hope you understand this lecture. Subscribe to my channel, learn science with me. Thank you.